Concussions and other head injuries are a huge concern for parents of athletes. Helmet makers are constantly researching ways to better cushion the brain. I'm Megan Carradine with Sports Moms, here to talk about the lifespan of helmets. Helmets are an investment and we buy them to help keep our kids safe. From bicycle helmets to the heavier football helmets, we trust they will hold up and do the job. But when should you make a change? First, let's talk about fit. Helmets should be comfortable and snug. It should not move in any direction while on your head. Double check the chin strap for a proper fit. Every child with a bike should have a helmet. These helmets are designed to protect after one fall. The foam material will crush and help cushion the blow. So after a fall, you will need to replace the helmet. Even if you cannot spot any damage, you still need to buy a new one. Bike helmets range from $10 to more than $100. Manufacturers say to replace them every three to five years, but with a growing child, that will come naturally. So if you are passing that old helmet down or donating it, check the date when it was made to make sure it is in good condition. Other helmets are designed to take multiple impacts. Two examples would be football and hockey helmets. They are heavier and have more protective padding than bike helmets. After a hit or fall, you still need to check for any damage, like a cracked shell or dent. Obviously, these types of helmets are more expensive and new, safer models come out all the time. Before investing in these, check the reviews and ratings. Whichever helmet your child has, be sure to review the replacement guidelines. Many times, helmets are stored in the garage where temperatures can be searingly hot or icy cold. Wear and tear and exposure to weather extremes can shorten the helmet lifespan. Missing parts, worn straps, loose sheer fabric, fading of the shell, and signs of crushed foam mean it's time to get a replacement. And remember before those big games, check your athlete's helmet and tighten any screws that may be loose. It's also a good idea to wipe them down with a mild cleaner. I'm Megan Carradine with Sports Moms, helping moms win and protecting our kids' growing brains.